Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. And in today's video, we are going to be redecorating my entryway space and living room for fall. I love decorating for the fall season. So I do tend to decorate on the earlier side of things, but that way, because I enjoy it so much, I have so many options and I'm able to redecorate later, add some more traditional colors and just really pull those fall tones that we love to see as the leaves are changing and everything. If you missed my early fall decorating for both of these spaces, my entryway, I was keeping very transitional. I found these beautiful stems from at home, these maple leaves, and they are such a gorgeous stem. You could easily use them for fall decorating too, but I really loved to use them for early fall. It carried through into my living room space, lots of muted tones, focusing more on green rather than browns, but I still brought in some neutral, calmer brown tones in that space as well. So if that is a color scheme story that you would prefer, you can actually check out those videos and get some inspiration from them. But today I'm going to be looking to introduce some more of those traditional colors that we love to see in the fall season, making it cozy and absolutely adding a pumpkin or two. So let's get started. So here we have a nice clean slate to start off with. I already vacuumed, dusted, wiped all the surfaces down so that we can just focus on decorating. I did take off all the pillows and throws, even if I was planning to reuse them for fall decorating. I am going to keep these few items on the coffee table. We're just changing a few things up and it'll change the overall feel of the space. Take it from that more muted palette and while still maintaining it being muted, we're gonna add some more traditional colors. So we're gonna start off in the entryway to set the tone for the space. I'm gonna be using these rust leaf magnolia stems. These were from uh, Target last year. And then some of these twig branches that were from Michael's. And that way it has that nice rusty color palette that I love to have for fall. But we also have some texture, we have some movement, it's nice and full. And I am setting it asymmetrical on the table so I can have some playroom to the side. I shared these in my recent home decor finds video. This is the bigger light brown pumpkin. And then we have the smaller dark brown one too. And just a tip when you are styling pumpkins, make sure these stems are in different directions. It looks more intentional than if they were all going the same way as each other. And to bring in a touch of green to the entryway, I'm going to add this New England Landscapes book box. Then we'll be adding in that cast iron leaf. And then this flannel candle I got from House and Home a couple years ago. Just please, please be so careful. If you have candles near faux florals, don't light them. This is a very, very aromatic candle. You can smell it without lighting it. So I'm gonna leave it unlit here. So I'm going to start off by adding this faux fur throw blanket. I got this from Home Goods a couple of years ago on clearance. They have a ton of different options, different color variations available. But I know Amazon also has some really great options as well. I'll have them all linked down below for you. And I got this white throat pillow from Target a couple of years ago and it quickly became one of my staple throw pillows that I have out. Now we're gonna add in that beautiful block floral print pillow from Amazon. It's a beautiful like brown rust color 
you can see like in comparison to the blanket it's a little more like red orange toned and then like to my shirt you can see too and the last touch will be adding this pumpkin i got from home goods to the other side i'm going to add this beautiful knit throw from pottery barn i got it three years ago now it is unfortunately discontinued I love the deep, rich tones of this throw. It is so beautiful, and it is exactly what I picture in my mind when I think of traditional colors, and it pairs beautifully with the Rust Amazon pillow. And then we'll be adding this pillow. I DIY'd this in the spring, actually and have this smaller version of the bigger white pillow we used on the side there. And then I just wanted to take a quick minute and explain why I'm using this brown one instead of the velvet ones I picked up. I love these velvet ones and when you hit the light right, it is a beautiful dark brown color. But when you look at it next to this blanket, you can see what a cool brown tone this is versus a warm brown tone. And this one has more of that warm brown. So these pair together much nicer than this velvet one. So just pay attention to that type of stuff when you are pairing your pillows with each other, with the throws and such, so that your color story makes sense. So now I'm adding this gauzy neutral throw blanket that I got from Home Goods, as well as some of the same pillows that I used on the larger couch. This smaller neutral pillow is a cover from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to add this pumpkin that was from Kirkland's. So for the coffee table arrangement, I have these beautiful eucalyptus stems. These were from Target, I want to say about four years ago now, but the color of them really ties in well with our entryway. And then it also ties in really well with the color of the pillow to help bring us that more traditional look to our decorating. And again, as always, just separate your stems around, bend them so they have a natural cascade effect to them. And you can use as many or as little as you like. I have five I'm gonna be using in this arrangement. And then for this empty space here, I found this LED flameless candle. This is a Pottery Barn dupe I found at Home Goods. And Pottery Barns are 80 to 90. This one was 25. So definitely keep an eye out at your local Home Goods for this. And not only did I find that amazing gourd, I also found an orange pumpkin. And I was so, so excited about these. These are such a cozy touch without the risk of an actual flame. So you can totally use these around your kids. I thought this was such a fun find. And now we're going to add the Art of Home. This is Shea McGee's new coffee table book. It is so thick and so full of amazing, wonderful things. So if you haven't picked this up yet, you totally should. And then I recently went to the Antique Mall and picked up this wonderful jug. That's actually going to be my next video. It's going to be a short and sweet antique shop with me and I've been looking for something like this for so long and I added one of those uh, eucalyptus leaf ones that we have on the coffee table to tie that in. We're going to add this beautiful brass apple and this amazing minka candle from Anthropology to the side.
so between the coffee table arrangement, the side table, and the entry table, we have a lot of rust foliage happening. And I have this beautiful wreath from Dawn on the side here that has some green in it. So I'm going to add some green to that wall basket. So I'm going to add a couple of these Michaels fern stems that we previously used on the coffee and side table. So that is going to wrap up today's video, friends. I sure hope that you enjoyed and got some decorating ideas and inspiration for how you can style your entryway and living room space for the fall season. Again, if you missed my early fall decorating videos, you can check those out if you prefer a more muted, neutral palette for your fall decor. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.